Hey everybody, thanks for watching another entry in the Hyrule Compendium. Today our topic we're discussing is from our good friend, McPorkchop54. We have, we have some of the best commenter names, I think. Yes. Yeah. McPorkchop54 uh, wanted to have us talk about what game in the series we'd like a sequel to. Like oh. a direct sequel, you know? Okay, well... Uh, if this was if this question was asked three years ago, I would have said a link to the past. <laughs> so your your wishes have been granted already. Yeah, it did. It, it it came true. So you don't even really deserve to get another sequel because you already got all you wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So um, what do you think first? Let's hear your thoughts. Um. Honestly, with the with the so after the timeline became important. I thought with games that they would maybe start connecting them a little better. You know, they started to piece them together a little bit more than just based on people noticing things. Uh, so I was hoping that maybe they would just start, you know, making a sequel to Skyward Sword, but then have it not directly connect, but, you know, right. actually see how it gets going to some like places to the minish cap like where's that bridge yeah there? or four and, swords or whatever and next. not even specifically that game you know you know but any game but I, honestly i would like to see more in the skyward sword kind of world okay and like to see uh see the ground become more populated to like yeah because like, i i love the mostly because i love the like the game looked the art style it's really cool but the big bummer I thought was that down on land there it was part of the game, but there wasn't like civilization. Yeah, and I'd love to see like a a high rule castle and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah, that's a good one. I, I, that that's I, I I was thinking this is maybe not so much in the line of uh, storyline or even game progression, mm -hmm. but um, when Ocarina of Time 3D was released on the 3DS and you know and you know Grezzo made it and. Uh, you know, it's this new, like an upgraded graphical style to mm -hmm. the game. It was still the same basic game. I thought, you know, they eventually did Majora's Mask 3D as well. Mm -hmm. But I was anticipating or I was hopeful for a Nintendo 3DS game, a new adventure that was not like a remake or whatever, in the style that was used for what, well, for Ocarina and Majora's Mask. Mm -hmm. Like to give them another shot, but a, a 3DS a game that was built from the ground up rather than a remake but with that engine and yeah yeah i've i've discussed this with people before too like that's one thing i would really like yeah uh, not i guess not necessarily it doesn't even have to be a sequel right yeah but, it, or you said that but uh it could be i mean generally speaking it seems all the games of the same type mm -hmm. are are the ones that are like you know like ocarina of time of george mass that's a direct sequel yeah there's oracle of ages and seasons they're I guess sequels to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, Phantom Hourglass Spear Tracks, it's a sequel. You know, A Link Between Worlds is it now that one was over twenty years difference, but I mean mm -hmm. it's it's a sequel. So it's like there's no reason why they couldn't make a game that uses that style. Doesn't need to take place in that world at all. Could be in some far off world in a totally different mm -hmm. segment of, of the timeline. Like it's a direct sequel to you know, Oracle of Ages, <laughs> and it's with the Ocarina of Time 3D, you know, style. Like, that, it doesn't matter. That would actually be cool if it was a direct sequel. So you're seeing, like, people and things that happen, like, being played out in 3D. Okay. Oh, like, oh, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that, that, that makes you... I'm not sure how I feel about that, actually. Might freak you out a little bit, or... Well, you, you kind of have a for for games that are in 2D you have a mental visualization of what that game is and what you're like and I think if you do have a 3D visual visualization of that same exact area then when you go back and play the 2D game you might have the 3D picture in your head it mm -hmm. could change how you think of the game a little bit uh -huh. I don't know maybe I'm thinking too far into it I yeah <laughs> I I could see it's like not a doesn't ruin your childhood necessarily, <laughs> but it <laughs> messes with your head a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, another one that I, I maybe we'll get some with like the DLC, but I'd like to see some more story kind of based. I'm, obviously, they're probably gonna use this engine 
I would think more. But I'd like to see some more story in that world. Or in Breath of the Wild, you're yeah. referring to? Okay. I'd yeah. like to see that. Because I thought when that was coming out, a lot there was a lot of speculation on what the story would be, where it would be on the timeline. Some people were like, oh, it's going to it's gonna connect all the time. You know, there was yeah. all these wild theories. But it really just introduced way more lore than it did answer questions. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I kind of, I would kind of, like I was saying with all the other games, I'd like them maybe to start to bring things together a little bit. Yeah, I, I yeah, I suppose. I, um, one thing I would, in agreement with you about a sequel to Breath of the Wild, this goes to, this could be said about virtually every game. Almost every Zelda game, the world is in chaos mm-hmm. at some point. There's not really that many Zelda games, or there are parts of some games that take place during, like, peace yeah peaceful times and Mm. sometimes i wonder what these worlds would feel like just being involved in during times of prosperity maybe you deal with some other sorts of threat instead of you know mass destruction or something yeah it's always like this whole game was about you know the world was great until 100 years ago and but if we're looking at the other games it's like the world doesn't seem like it was that great for this right <laughs> yeah yeah it'd well cool, it'd be cool to see a, a world where everybody's you know it's great where everything everyone happy. loves it or at least like a good portion of the game maybe that's mm-hmm. that's like the first half of a game where everything's all nice and you can do all sorts of quests that are just not a worry in the world you know or be nice maybe where you're just your the storyline maybe could build into that later yeah where you could start with disagreements between groups of people instead of oh this great king of evil or something like that you know? right yeah maybe a, between like the tribes or the races of the game or you know mm-hmm. maybe a political struggle rather than a mythological struggle yeah for sure yeah um kind of one thing i was referring to with the breath of the wild thing is uh the ten thousand years ago mm-hmm. and the 100 years ago what happened like yeah i want to know like where that fits in after presumably uh what whatever timeline it's on generally after twilight princess sometime yeah time after i guess four swords adventures is after but anyway it generally speaking i don't think nintendo has ever like revisited backstory and actually like added material to it so many times they've come close and people thought they were doing it Right, wasn't Ocarina of Time supposed to be, yeah. The backstory of A Link to the Past was this very elaborate, the you know, the Imprisoning War, the Seal War, as they called it, like, and it was very elaborately written. And when the game first came out or when it was coming out, people were like, oh, this is the, this is the back. And then the game came out and then they, they just tweak things and it's like, oh, no, that wasn't the backstory after all. Like... <laughs> And then they just, then, then, like, oh, then what is this backstory? And then what is the, you know, and there was just, it's like trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle, but you're missing pieces. So then somebody comes over and gives you 50 more pieces, but none of the pieces they gave you are the ones you're missing. <laughs> They're just new pieces. <laughs> they go make the puzzle go outwards. Yes, instead. right, yeah. So there's more holes, but. Yeah, I guess, you know, part of it is they're trying to not let that hold back the game and yeah. the game they want to make. But I think it's possible to have a bit of both. Yeah. I thought Skyward Sword actually was a bit of a step in a cool direction because they kind of gave backstory on uh, on, on Ganon. Ganon yeah. and Demise. Demise and all that. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, there, and a sequel to any game would be cool, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's not one where I think I'm tired of seeing that. Yeah. yeah right. Maybe a four, four swords. Or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not. <laughs> I like, you know, with a, with a link between worlds. I like the idea of revisiting familiar lands mm-hmm. in 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 sort of the same environment. Yeah, it's nice that they're a little bit different. Like things change a, a yeah. little bit, but you know the area. Like it was weird when I first played a link between worlds. That I don't remember how long in, in the future it takes place, but probably one hundred years uh, <laughs> after a link to the past. But like. There were some passageways that didn't exist in A Link to the Past, but then had opened up in A Link Between Worlds. Mm. Like, oh, you can actually get from, you know, where the blacksmiths are to where Link's house was now through that little, like, there's a pathway there. Oh, yeah. There was just trees before. Someone must have traversed it enough, made a path. Yeah. 
That's pretty interesting. So that yeah. one other game because we we're talking about the Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, like that style remake, not necessarily the story. What about a Zelda Two style where they use that side-scrolling style? Is that something you'd want to see, or I don't know if that fits anymore. No, no, maybe uh, twenty years ago, but even if it, too many new games now. What if it was just a a virtual virtual title? console game? Yeah, I think they could do something better. And maybe it's that new uh, mobile game they're working on. Yeah, or you just you just to, tap. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, let us know what game you'd like to see a sequel to. I'm sure there are a ton of different varying opinions on that. And uh, let us know if you have any other topics you'd like us to discuss. And thanks for watching.